Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage and what we're going to be doing today is jacking up the front end of the 2004 Honda Pilot. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, I just want to welcome you here and hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like what you see. Also, check out Car Apprentice on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post lots of pictures and videos on those platforms before I post anything on YouTube. And occasionally, I'll post things on those platforms I don't post on YouTube. Also, check out the website at carapprentice.com. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. So what we're going to be doing today is jacking up the front end of the 2004 Honda Pilot. And so we're going to start to get into some of the mechanical work here pretty soon. And... I thought I'd start off with some really easy videos to do just to kind of get my feet wet a little bit and get back into filming videos and editing videos. So we're going to start with this one which is basically just jacking up the front end. Now I have a second video coming on jacking up the rear end of the car. So let's get into it. Alright so before we start jacking up the car we need to observe some precautions. The first thing is to make sure the pilot is on a flat, level and somewhat smooth surface. A sheet of three quarter inch plywood works well on non-smooth surfaces such as aggregate driveways. We also need to make sure the parking brake is engaged to keep the rear wheels from moving. Next, we'll place chalk behind the rear tires as a backup measure. Since the pilot is an SUV, a jack that can extend up to around 20 inches will be needed if the front wheels need to be removed. Okay, to jack up the whole front end of the pilot, this hook on the front serves as a central jack point. I'll place the jack pad under the jack point, then start to gradually jack up the car. I usually stop after a few pumps of the jack to make sure the pad is still properly positioned, then I continue. The jack stands I'm using are a 3.5 ton Craftsman Professional, and I've added some jack stand pads I bought at Harbor Freight to not mar the pinch welds any further. Once the car is jacked up to the desired height, and maybe a couple inches beyond the ultimate height when the car is later set on the jack stands, I'll set the jack stands in place under the pinch wells on the driver's side and passenger side respectively. To place the jack stands under the pinch wells and not have the wheels touch the ground, 17 inches seem like a good height for the pilot which is 6 clicks on these Craftsman jack stands. Since the car will shift rearward as it's lowered onto the stands, I did have to play with the placement. I'll then slowly lower the car. When I'm performing repairs or maintenance, I usually leave the jack in place as a backup. You may want to place chocks in front of the rear tires also. Alright, let's reverse the process and lower the car back onto the ground. I'll simply raise the car until I hear the clink of the jack stand separating from the pinch welds. Then I'll remove the jack stands and slowly lower the car to the ground. <laughs> 
Lastly, I'll remove the wheel chocks and that's it. All right, so there you have it. There's jacking up the front end of the 2004 Honda Pilot. So hopefully this information was helpful and thanks for watching.